Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. There is immense conference pride in the Big Ten. No conference I can think of has more games where they play for trophies, whether it's Paul Bunyan's act, a little brown jug, an old oaken bucket. Somebody's always playing for something, but most of all, they're playing for pride. A great matchup coming in the Big Ten. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. Maryland lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. He'll return it from the three. He's tackled at the 28. Final game for these seniors on their home field. Some will get to the next level in football. Others, they'll be putting the helmet on for the final time. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Mike 22, he's coming. 22 is coming. Mike, Mike. Tackle made around the 31-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. That makes it second and eight. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Defenses hate playing against teams that run the option well. It's so unpredictable. That time they couldn't defend it properly and they gave up a first down. From their own 45 yard line, first down. He's taken down at about the 45. No good on the play. That makes it second and 10. There's a strike complete, and they make the stop at the 48-yard line. Gain of seven on the play. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Three down, three down. Check 83, ball going 83. Quick pass. Brought down around the 45-yard line. Well, that's one of those plays where the wide receiver is expected to make something happen after the reception, but the defense wasn't giving up anything. Mike 22, he's coming. 22 is coming. Mike, Mike. Tries to get around the corner, and he's taken down right around the 42-yard line. And the short gain is enough for the first. And that tailback definitely has a nose for that first down marker. From the 42-yard line. First down. And he's level at the 34 yard line. That brings in second and nine. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Jones gets it on the counter left. 
Good outside run there. What is going on with his defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs, and they're executing well. But the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. Person was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. 26, Mike. 26, Mike. Let's go, Tackle. Let's go. We got this. We got this. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And he's tackled at the 22. And this is the 12th play of the drive. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20. And he's hit immediately. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. They put everyone up on the line. Tackle around the one-yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. That brings up second and goal. And this is the 15th play of a very solid drive. for extra yardage. No game on the play. That makes it third and goal. Third down now and goal to go. Ball on the one. The Bobcats had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. Hand off, and he can't get it over the line. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. So at the end of one, no score here. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Ohio is looking to go up by three. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. Lewis fields it at the two. And down he goes at the 27-yard line. Lewis has got to forget about all the distractions, and that includes talking about winning awards. And in talking to him, he seems like a pretty focused, driven guy, and I think he's all about team. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. They go to the ground game. And down he goes at about the 35. That makes it second and two. Makes a catch and he's got nowhere to go. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Good for a game of six yards. First down. Throws this one away. 
Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Zips it to the back, and he hits him hard at the 48. That's good for a gain of nine yards. Third down. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. He's hit before he can go anywhere. That's a game of 10 on the play. On the ball, on the ball, on the ball. That makes it first and 10. Here we go. He's at the 30. He makes his way out to about the 25. That's where you call the ball. First down. First down. Zips it to the tailback incomplete. Robinson was his intended receiver on the play. That makes it second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25 yard line. The Terrapins had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. And he's tackled right away. Call it a game of nine yards. And number eight, Sherman, number eight, Mike. That will make it third and one. They got to him, and he did not get the first down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Maryland can tie it up here with this kick. It's up, and it sails through the uprights. Like they're ready for the kickoff. And he'll return this one from the seventh. Looking for the corner. He's pushing at the 29 yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. He's got it with room to run. He's knocked out of bounds at the 40 yard line. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. Here they come. And he tackles him hard at the 49-yard line. Second down and six. Ball on the 45. Three down, three down. Mark 22, Mark 22. Yeah. Hey, hey, look, look. He's under some heat. He's got all day. He heaves it deep. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. Hey, this guy's got to forget about the drop. Remember, he was in good position to make a play. And he misses his wide receiver there. Yeah, you're right. This is an area that he's worked so hard to improve since day one. The accuracy of his throws. He's improved, but as you can see, he's upset here with himself. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. This one's going to be down in the for a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He gets 
gets rid of this one. From their own 20-yard line. Second down. Rose, and he's right there to knock it away. his way to about the 32. He's out of bounds right around the 36-yard line. That makes it second and six. Second and six. Ball on their own 36. 